You know the Nigerian prince who's always emailing you asking for your bank account? Well, today we found him. Well, this woman found him first, and she got married to him. And now, they're on Dr. Phil. I met James in 2008 when I was on a family vacation in Malaysia. I knew right away he was Nigerian. By the time we were leaving and going home, we said goodbye in the car, we both had a few tears. I was very confident I was coming back to see him again. Oh my God, she met! Her Nigerian prince in real life, not on email, but in real life. I flew back four or five times to see him in Malaysia. When I went to Nigeria, I met his family, I felt comfortable. At the end of that trip, James proposed to me and I accepted. Oh, so he proposed to her. Hmm, I wonder why. Surely being a Nigerian prince, you get your pick of the litter. Let me give you some backstory. This woman right here, she's a millionaire. Here comes the money. I'm fairly independent. I designed and bought my own ring. My husband's family took care of the whole entire planning situation. I guess I paid probably a few thousand dollars. Oh girl, girl, your man don't got money for a ring? It's like, I can make my own ring. Custom made and everything. We went to the registry. We signed the papers. It was approximately five to 700 people. So they had a wedding. She paid for everything, but his family planned it out. I would say, we have a perfect marriage, with the exception of I live in Canada, and the Canadian government won't give him a visitor visa. <laughs> so she got a whole family with kids in Canada, and she flying over to this guy in Nigeria, which is now her husband. James, hello. Hello. Hello, you look good, you look good. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Since we've got married, I visited him eight or nine times in Nigeria. We did a lot of travel to other countries. The Canadian government could see us together. They would believe that our marriage is definitely real. So the problem here, the Canadian government is like, nah, we ain't gonna let him come in our country, drink from our Tim Hortons, have our poutine. Sorry, that was really stereotypical. Deanna is a smart, successful, and wealthy business owner, but her son Jordan and her brother Dale believe that all her Nigerian husband James sees when he looks at Deanna are dollar signs. Yeah, well, she got millions of dollars. She going flying from Canada to Nigeria. That's a $10,000 ticket every time she visits. She a first class type of girl, okay? Sent James via Western Union approximately $25,000. Whenever I see pictures of James on Facebook wearing new clothes, nice fancy jewelry, I think, how is this possible? I've given him some clothing, some jewelry. She basically his sugar mama. And her kids, they ain't having it. They're like, mom, why are you spending all this money on this guy? Well, I've been wearing the same Nike since high school. Loki though, this is exactly how my dad was. When the PlayStation 3 first came out, he bought one from my half brother and we didn't get one. I was so salty. Necklaces, rings, a couple watches. Yeah, every time my mom goes to Nigeria, she buys him a phone, electronics, she's always buying him new stuff. Damn, he live with a life, huh? So her kids think that he's scamming her. It's kind of obvious. If James is a scammer that Dale or Jordan think he possibly could be, he would be here in Canada right now scamming me out of far more than a trip here or a meal there. He would come here for way bigger dollars. Okay, girl. First of all, he can't even come to Canada. Second of all, with you, he went from Nokia to iPhone 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus. She's been married for six years to a man who lives in Nigeria. She says he is the man of her dreams. I have no relationship with James other than we're Facebook friends. Everything I know about James comes from my mom. I don't believe anything my mom tells me about him. My mom tells me he's a professional soccer player. It's funny, I've researched him, I found nothing. Exposed! Man, who lies about being a professional soccer player? I believe that James is a fraud. When my mom told James that she could no longer send him money through Western Union, he went to Facebook and said his ATM was broken. <laughs> He's revealed his true colors. The ultimate Nigerian scam. I also saw on Facebook where James said, I have a new young wife and a son. Mom says most likely his Facebook just got hacked. 
I've had Facebook for seven years and I've never been hacked. Okay, okay. So her Nigerian prince is living his own life with a wife and a son and he using her buddy to live this nice lavish life and just playing her on the side. It's the ultimate scam. I believe that James is living a whole other life in Nigeria. She'll believe anything she can so she doesn't have to say it's a scam. He's had two passports with different ages and somebody wrote down that he was a doctor. The Canadian government won't let him in. They just say, no, you're not welcome in the country. Oh, it all makes sense now. So the Canadian government is just telling him, no, sorry, we won't let you in the country because his passports are fake. He got two different passports. One says he's a doctor and one says he's a professional football player, but the real one says he is scamming ho. What makes you think he's a scammer? Uh, I think he's a scammer mainly he has never been able to come to Canada. It's a huge red flag for me. The fact that when my mom wasn't sending him money, then all of a sudden he goes on Facebook or social media site says ATM's broken. His mom gonna be like, but what if the ATM in his village is actually broken? Like she is clueless. My mom an ATM for sure is one massive red flag. What I, makes you think he's a scammer? I, I feel he's a, a scammer because of the things that we found on Facebook. Your husband's 39? He's 39. And this is his picture. May he lying about his age too? This guy does not look 39. That is one year away from 40. He in his late 20s, maybe early 30s. There's no way this guy is basically 40. Yeah, he's a black guy. Black guys look young. Have you looked at his dad? Have you looked at his dad? First to you, they say, as his ATM. That's not my husband's type. Of writing. His grammar is not at all ever like that. Says, Baby, I'm very, very sad. <laughs> Friend, why are you sad? James, I need money. My ATM is not giving me money. Friend, which ATM is that? My wife. Bro, no! Dr. Phil! You hit her too hard! Dr. Phil with the receipts. And she's sitting here and gonna say, no, that's not my husband. He didn't write that. He doesn't even type like that. They got Facebook messages. I actually saw it myself even on there. You don't think? It didn't sound at all like his writing. What I had the phone to say. What an odd person to hack and what an odd thing to say <laughs> about that. And then he refers to this hacker, I guess, refers to James' new wife. Okay. So she's saying she saw it and she's convinced that it's a hacker. A hacker wrote that. There is no way my beloved husband that I give so much money to is a scammer and calls me an ATM. No, he has called me nothing but sweetheart, beautiful, honey, red lily. Why would he call me his ATM? This hacker, I guess, refers to James' new wife, missing my wife. R originally said my old wife and said, old wife you have a new one he comments yes with a baby boy I, I love my baby I could be wrong but you can probably verify it I believe that picture there was taken at my husband's auntie's house so what this is literally a picture of his wife saying I love my baby bro how are you gonna do this like is this guy really that stupid he's gonna have her in his profile pic with him and he's gonna post pictures of his new wife and be like I love my baby and she's sitting here like oh no this is another picture of somebody else this girl is delusional so it should be very easy to verify verify what that he doesn't have a Another wife and a baby boy? She doing everything, man. Her mind is struggling to block out any possibility that this guy is a scammer or cheating on her or living another life. Like he loves her and that's it. That is all she knows and believes and will ever know and believe. I, I believe that actually might be even one of his cousins. That would be very interesting to find out and ask. And if you don't mind, I'm not trying to be stupid sounding. Did you it's, ask him? I might have way back then. Oh my God. Imagine your boyfriend, girlfriend takes a pic with somebody posted on Facebook. They're like, I love my baby. Will anybody just sit and look at it and be like, oh, that's his cousin. Even worse. Oh man, Dr. Phil, how are you not seeing this? This woman, there's something wrong with her. I'm not the least bit naive. I'm not you the least naive. bit insecure. I'm very confident in what I do. <laughs> yeah, girl, you confident in what you do. She runs a successful business. She knows how to speak to a manager, but she don't know anything about love. I'm curious, do, do you have any concerns at all of the legitimacy of this relationship that you've invested so much money in? Myself, personally, yeah. I, have, I have none. I have actually zero. I totally do believe my husband. Oh! 
my god! Seriously! So many red flags, man! She's his ATM, he's using her for money, she spent so much time and money on him, he's living a whole nother life! Canada won't let him in cause his passport is fake, he given her a fake identity, fake passport, he cheating on her, he got a baby boy that she don't know about, there is just so much going on in this relationship that are huge red flags. I don't know if she's lying to herself, but how could she just sit here and be so confident in her relationship? I want to see Dr. Phil bring him on with his bonus family and everything. Bring him on the show. If y'all want a part two, make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.